This video explains how to calculate exponentials using the exp function in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first example of this video, I want to show you how to apply the exp function to only one value. And we can do that as you can see in line two of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the exp function to the value five. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the value 148.4132 is returned. And this value is the exponential value that corresponds to the value five. Now we could also apply the exp function to a vector of different values, as you can see in line four of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the exp function to a vector containing a range of values from one to 10. So after running this line of code, you can see that a vector object containing 10 exponentials is returned and each of these values corresponds to one of the input values in our vector of one to 10. It's also possible to use the exp function to draw our exponentials and we can do that as you can see in lines six to nine of the code. So in lines six and seven, I'm using the exp function to draw the exponential values that correspond to the values one to 10. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a scatter plot, which is showing these 10 data points. And then on top of that, we could also draw a line plot that is connecting our lines, as you can see in lines eight to nine. So after running this line of code, our plot is updated and is now also showing an exponential line. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.